Hey guys, I am Jacqueline from ActionJacqueline.com and welcome to my YouTube channel where I help you feel amazing in your own body, skin, and mind. And today I have lower body bar sculpts. We're gonna be using a medium band today, so it's medium resistance. You can still do this workout even if you don't have the band, but I'm gonna leave a link below so that you can get yourself one on Amazon. If you have one, then let's get started. If you don't have one, still join me today and do the workout without the band and then come back and and do it again once you've got your band in the mail. Let's get started. We're gonna just start with a warm up. I'm gonna put the band down and we're gonna do just one minute of high knees so that we can just get our body moving and get some, you know, blood flowing and everything. So let's do one minute right here. We're gonna lift the knees up, nice high knees. So I'm just going at a moderate pace. If you wanna go faster, definitely go faster. But in the sand, it's pretty hard. Okay, lift up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. If you need to modify, you could always just step the knees up like this. Try to get them pretty high up towards your chest. And this is a great way to modify. Otherwise, if you're jumping with me, keep going. Up, 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 up. Keep going, keep going, keep going. 15 more seconds. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Okay, so we're gonna take the band around our ankles. So you're gonna have the band right around your ankles and we're just gonna have the feet about hip distance apart to start. So lower down into a nice squat. Feet are nice and wide, and then you're gonna take the legs even wider, just to the just to the um, hip width apart, wide, and then back to hip width apart, wide, hip width apart. All right, so don't bring the feet all the way together because then the band's gonna fall off. And also, I want you to keep the outside of the thighs working the entire time. So we're gonna do three steps like this. One, two, three, and then we're gonna go to the other side. So one minute, just like that. Stay low in the squat. I know you're gonna to wanna to come up. Just try to stay nice and low. It'll just be that much more effective. You'll get so much more out of this. You should feel the outside of those thighs burning. Even if you're not using the band, you're gonna still be working those legs like crazy and still feel the outside of the legs working. it all the way across over time. Three, two, and one. Nice job. So keep the band on you. So keep it just above those ankles. And we're gonna stand up nice and tall. We're gonna do these next couple of exercises all on the right side. And then we're gonna switch and go back to the left side. So you're gonna balance on your left foot. Stay up nice and high. You're just gonna lift the leg up and tap down. So up and tap, up, tap, up 30 times like this. Last 10 right here, 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Take the band right behind you. So now we're gonna lift the band straight up behind us. Contract those glutes, lift up those legs. Keep this, the lower body or the lower abs pulled in nice and tight. Here we go. We're gonna just lift. 30 times right here. You're gonna feel the standing leg also working. My standing leg is burning, that's for sure. Good, last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Okay, now we're gonna take the band all the way up onto our thighs. So you're gonna lower down onto your hands and knees. So the first time you do this, I admit, it's gonna feel a little bit weird, but you're gonna take the band and you're gonna wrap it around your right foot. So the band's gonna be over your, the arch of your right foot. The band is gonna be around your left thigh. So it may feel kind of weird the first couple times, but you'll just get used to it, okay? If it's too uncomfortable for you, then you can just take the band off and you can uh, do this without the band. All right. So I want you to keep the knee up nice and high. You see how my knee is up almost at hip height? And then I'm gonna push my leg out. So you've got this resistance that you're pushing against and then you're gonna pull it back in. So you're gonna press and in, press and in. 30 just like this. If it really starts to bother your left thigh, you could always place like a shirt or something or a little towel there to take the pressure off of your thigh or you can take the band up and your upper thigh doesn't hurt as much. <laughs> Hopefully you feel this resistance in your butt as much as I do. It is burning so much, but it means it's working, working those glutes. Good job. Keep it up, keep it up. Last 10, try to stick with it. Nine, just remember it's just temporary. Eight, seven, six, almost there, five. Four, three, two, one. Okay. Woo. Okay, nice job. You might be a little sore tomorrow, but that's good, right? It's always good to feel sore. Okay, now we're gonna take the band around our thighs and we're just gonna lift the thigh up to the side like a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. And we're gonna lift up 30 times. Here we go. 30, 29, 28. Good, my biggest tip here is to watch the upper body. Make sure you're not kind of going crazy with the upper body. Arms should stay nice and straight. Shoulders stay square, so I'm not twisting. Keep the shoulders straight forward. Use the abs. If you stay square, you will uh, use the abs way more. Stick with it last 10, nine, eight, seven, six. You can do it. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, and rest, nice job. Okay, I know, those are a little difficult. Okay, so we're going to stand up. So before we go into the left side, we're gonna do a little 
little bit of cardio. So I want you to take the band back around your uh, shins or your calves. So have the feet about just a little bit outside of hips. So we're gonna do a little jump squat. So there should be tension on the band right now. So we're going to open up to a little jump squat, a little bit wider, and then we're gonna jump in. So we're gonna jump out and jump in. Jump out and jump in, okay? So not too narrow where you lose the tension on the band. There should always be tension on the band. So out and slightly in, out and in, okay? So we're gonna do this for one minute just to get our heart rate back up, get a little bit of cardio, and here we go. One minute begins now. Out and in, out and in. Try to make it a nice deep squat each time. Feeling those outer glutes working again. More than halfway there. 20 more seconds. Keep going, keep going. I know you're burning, so am I, but it's okay. Just stick with me. You can do it. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Keep the band right where they are, right where it is. And we're gonna come into a plank. So, arms are gonna come just directly underneath your shoulders. We're gonna lift the right leg up like this, squeezing the glutes, contracting the lower belly. We're gonna do that 20 times each side. Then we're gonna go and do everything again on the left side. Here we go. And lift it up. 20, 19, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Switch the legs. Here we go. 20, 19, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take a little breather. Okay, we've got one more thing here in plank before we go to the left side. We're gonna jump the legs out and in, just a tiny little bit. It's just enough so that the band stays uh, nice and tense, okay? So we'll do this for 30 seconds. Here we go. Halfway there. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hey, come on down, nice job. All right, here we go. We've got the left side to do, and then you're all done. Okay, so take that band, remember, back around the shins. So this left, right foot should be underneath the right hip. Lift and lift, 30 times just like this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Okay, let's take it to the back. And 30 times here. Here we go. 30. Last 10, 9, 
eight. Keep pulling up in the lower belly. Lifting up nice and tall. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's come down onto all fours. Actually first bring the band over the thigh. And then into the foot. So over the thigh, in the foot. Okay, bring that band up because it discovered it. It hurts a little bit less this way. Okay, pressing out 30 times. Ready? And 30. to stay nice and stable. Good, 12, 11, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, you are all done. Take the band off. We're gonna take a nice little stretch here to release the legs. So stick with me for our little cool down. So we're gonna lie on our backs and you're just gonna take the foot over your knee and grab, so thread through the knee and grab onto the opposite knee. Pull everything in towards your chest and you're gonna feel a nice release in the glutes that we just worked. <sighs> You should be very proud of yourself. This one is not easy. These are some of my favorite moves and adding the band into it just makes it that much more challenging. Okay, switch to the other side. The bands are awesome too because you can literally take them with you everywhere. They're probably less than half a pound, right? So you can just throw them in your bag, take them with you, do this on vacation, do it anywhere. A nice big deep breath in and exhale out. Nice job. Thank you so much for joining me today. Make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet. I hope you had so much fun. Remember, I have a downloadable PDF guide of this workout completely free. All you do is click the i button up there. You'll be taken to my website, put your name and email in. Then you'll have access to my library of workouts completely free. Tons of workouts and recipes for you to have and have forever. Okay, I will see you next time. Thank you.